Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy and I am going to talk to you about Book Baby, round two. Um, I am currently an author, a published author at that. My first book is, I'm trying to make sure that the gliding doesn't get in the way, A Gift of Peace and Purpose, A Survivor's Journey. Yep, <laughs> this is hard. Um, here's the back of it. It's the way that it looks. Um, and then this is the inside of it, which because of the lighting, you're not gonna see it that well. Um, good quality six by nine, right? The intent of this book is to advocate why Book Baby is a great uh, platform for you to self-publish. Um, in each interaction that I've had, with Book Baby in my first book and in the second book that I'm currently in the process of. Um, all positive. I've never felt like the company was shady. I've never felt like I was being taken advantage of. It was very seamless and transparent process. There are a lot of resources that are out there that will help you and ensuring that you understand what's going on. Um, it is an investment that you are making for yourself. Depending on how you play your cards with your book, you can easily break even. I will tell you now that um, my sales from the first book are all on me. I have not broken even yet based on what I initially paid because I did not have a consistent and or strategic marketing plan. If I had a strategic marketing plan for my book, that would get the book in front of people, I would have broken even by now. Based off of word of mouth, I've already hit half of, almost half of what I initially invested to get the book published, just based off of word of mouth, right? Um, this could easily turn into a source of income for you, again, depending on how you play your cards. What I'm gonna do is walk you through, or to the best of my ability, walk you through my current process, which I'm just starting again for book number two. One, um, this go around, I had a little bit more to say, and thus the project was more expensive, right? Um, in some videos that I posted on my channel, I talked to you about some of the mistakes that I made just as a new author to help those who are new to being an author um, avoid some of those mistakes. Um, do, 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 do. So this project, Hold Your Seat, was about $3,000, right? Um, yes, that is a lot of money. However, you can get that money back. Again, it's all based on you, right? So let's talk about what that did and did not include. I, actually, let me go to my project details. So I did the distribution. I am definitely gonna take advantage of their vast network. If you were to Google my book now, you would literally see that it is all over the place um, at least from an electronic, well, no, I take that back. It's all over the place. Amazon, Walmart, other book platforms, Barnes and Noble, Bookshop, it, take advantage of it, especially while the prices are what they are. Because I imagine as this company gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the prices are going to go up, you know? So take advantage of it. Um, I had no images in my book, so I didn't have to pay anything extra for that. Um, I had, I ordered more books this time around. The first time around, I did not order as many books, but this time I learned my lesson because I'm going to be strategic with what I do with the books that I have available. I did do the ebook conversion. I did do metadata. I did do bookmarks. I did a soft cover. I did not do the hard cover because that was way more expensive. Um, and six by nine, I believe I said that earlier. So yes, um, big investment, but it will be worth it. Okay, let's talk about where I am in the process. 
So I am currently in the process where my book design is being put together, which usually takes about three to four weeks. Okay. Prior to this, I approved, well, let me backtrack. When you go through the process, you approve and or reject proofs. Um, so, for example, they send you a copy of what something will be and you say, yes, I do like this or no, I do not. Here's my feedback. I have already gone through the process uh, with the metadata, which is this what you search for or what search for to find your book um, and the author information. So when people look me up via bookshop or whatever platform that they buy the book on, Kindle, Barnes and Noble, all that kind of fun stuff, what will it say about me? Um, hopefully all positive things. Uh, and then again, I'm in the book design process. I believe what happens after this is, if my memory serves me correctly, you will get the formatting of the inside of the book. So in other words, your fonts, um, basically what the book looks like text wise. And then after that, you get your bookmarks after or before that you get your bookmarks. It's probably the book design, the bookmarks, and then the formatting. That's what makes sense logically. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Make sure that when you get your proof of the text, what the text will look like in the book, you proofread for probably the millionth time because you can probably catch some mistakes before your book is in your hand. Um, yeah, make sure that you do that. What did I do differently this time? I budgeted for marketing. And then prior to me submitting my book for it to be published, I had Book Baby edit the book separate, right? Make sure you look for coupons. Um, and I did that just to make myself feel better about it, that another set of eyes looked at the book, right? Um, I'm surprised that no one has reached out to me at this part this far into the process in my first experience someone reached out to me shout out to Ramona who was great um, but so far nobody's touched base with me it's all been the support group which I had to update a few things on my book um, but it's all via email all the interactions that I've had have been perfect I trust the process and the staff I've never felt like anything um, any negative vibes I've never felt like somebody's taking advantage of me I've never felt like um, this investment wasn't worth it. Again, from a sales perspective, it's all on me, how I've been pushing the book. What I'm going to do this time around is really be strategic with how I market this book in addition to my first book. Um, so that way I can break even a lot sooner than I would have if I did my strategic plan the first time around. I hope that this video helps you with understanding the process of publishing the book or publishing a book through Book Baby. Clearly, this is my second time. I would not be doing it a second time if the first time around wasn't a good experience. Um, this is a lot of money that you're investing into having your book published. It's your baby, essentially. Um, so you want to protect it and make sure that it's in the right hands and so far so good. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So I will end this video. If you have any questions or concerns, um, leave a comment. Am I missing anything? Am I missing anything? Oh, I did not do expedited shipping. I can wait. <laughs> so I did the economy shipping, which does a, does take a significant reduction in the price but again i'm not that much in a rush to get the books in my physical hand so so there was one thing that i did want to touch base on and it's probably one of the most important things which is how you make money so you will identify or calculate how much you make off of each book when you're going through the process of submitting your book to be published or submitting your project 
yeah, submitting your project um, to go through the process of being published. My recommendation is to consider that you can offer coupons or discounts on your book if it's priced higher. So in other words, you don't want to price your book low and not be able to go up in price because you want to make money off of it, being honest, um, and then not have any room to, to wiggle, right? I'd rather set my the price of my book a little on the higher side and then offer a coupon or a discount to attract more people to buy the book. I hope that that makes sense. Have a great day.